All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of kind of the external setup I have going on with my chest pack here. Um, there's a lot of packs out there, a ton of options, um, and there's a lot that I like. I use a handful of different ones depending on the day, um, but my go-to day pack is gonna be uh, this guy right here, which is the Umqua Overlook uh, Zero Sweep Chest Pack, and I'm kinda gonna give you a tour of how I have it set up. So, starting from right to left, all the way over here I have that Loon quick release tool. It's great when the water is super cold or when you don't want to handle a fish for too long. Just loop that around your tippet, follow it down to the fly, loop that out. It's great when a fly is particularly uh, embedded um, and you need to put some more leverage on it. Or again, when you don't want to handle the fish or handle um, you know cold water temperatures. And then uh, same thing going on with ease of access right here is my Loon float and caddy. The gel hangs upside down, so when you pop that cap, you barely need to apply any pressure to get uh, some floating onto the fly. Just rub it around, you're good to go. Same thing with the, the shake and float or high float or whatever you have that's kind of more of a, a powder. Just pop the lid, put the fly in there and close it off, give it a shake, and you're ready to fish some dry flies. <clears throat> then I also have my clamps on this side. Generally speaking, uh, if I'm using this, it's going to be with my right hand, so I like to keep it over here. That mitten style is what I love. Clamp it down, pull through to open it up again. It has scissors on there, a hook eye cleaner. It has smooth on the tip and textured below that so you can pinch barbs, but you can still get a hold of something and release it from a fish or pinch split shot, uh, whatever the case is. I really love these guys. And uh, then we'll come across onto the top here. So I have a fly box replacing the foam that comes standard on the Zero Sweep pack. Uh, you can do this with any small light fly box that has the right dimensions to not cover up the zipper. It can be quite long because you can kind of overhang the, the zinger ports here if you'd like to and just put a little piece of Velcro on there and match it up. And you've got flies at the ready to go throughout the day. You can still get into all your zippered pockets and whatnot. And then I have my Orvis Pro nippers on a zinger. Um, it's is hidden internally. There's a little loop there. I really like how the piano hinge style on this allows me to tuck that right there. And then it's out of the way as you know, neat and tidy as I can make it. Up from there, I have a magnetique little magnet here. There's a few different options for these. Uh, we sell them both in the shop and online at avidmax.com. It's a really strong magnet. It grabs your fly as well. Bam, there it is. And um, you come, uh, it comes in like a couple different colors, a couple different sizes. Here's a double wide and then a single. Uh, this here is like the double wide, so just a little bit more real estate for flies. <clears throat> then down from that, I like to run my tippet on this particular tippet holster. There's a few different options there, but I run up through this bottom loop and clip to the top loop. That restricts the movement a little bit. I don't want it bouncing around when I'm walking and waiting. I want it you know, accessible when I need to get some tippet peel it off, boom, my nippers are right there. Um, but other than that, I like it secure and out of the way without a ton of movement to it. And then on the front, I don't really put too much here. There's options underneath and on the face to do different accessories. But when I'm handling fly line, I don't want to be out there setting the hook and then I have some sort of figure eight or you know, uh, bird's nest around some accessory. So I keep this super clean and uh, smooth on the face of it and underneath. Um, you know, you could put your tippet here or float in or any sort of accessory. There's options for that with the mole webbing that you have uh, with this pack, but I keep it pretty clean. Then the bungee pockets, um, I have some stuff in here like the pay at pace that I'll use when I want to make a longer dry fly drift. Um, just run that along that cider and uh, euro leader and get a good drift that way if I want to lay everything down and let it float. Um, you know, you can keep some backup tippet spools or indicator or tippet rings or just maybe like a random little fly puck of things that you think are going to be hot items throughout the day. You just keep that there as well. So for me, the external setup is the most important because I want good workflow on the water um, without having to get into any sort of pocket or opening up a zipper. I want to be able to do everything I want to do right here. That's what it's all about for me is being efficient and not having to dig through stuff and then you open it up and your granola bar falls out and it's a whole thing. So this for me is the best possible setup. Again, there's a ton of options out there. There's a lot of different chest packs, vests, waist packs, backpacks, sling packs, all of the above. Find out what works best for you 
and then configure it for your personal fishing style. That's the beauty of all this stuff is that there's no right answer. Um, there's no universal rules with this except for generally speaking, the fish are in the water. So however you can best go about a day um, trying to chase some fish, figure that out with your pack and get it dialed in. On the inside, I have your run of the mill, uh, you know, accessories and terminal tackle for a day on the water, uh, leader, tippet, other fly boxes, gloves, snacks, things like that. Um, lots of cool options to kind of customize storage internally on this pack, as with any pack. Um, but this, this external layout right here is my favorite thing about this setup. All right, so let's talk about my net setup a little bit. We've had some questions uh, on the YouTube channel about this. What I have going on is a gear keeper retractor clipped into the D ring at the top of the back panel on this particular pack. Um, and then I have a magnet on the hoop of the net that I've tied on with some old fly line. Uh, there's some other options to uh, fix that onto there, but whatever works for you. And then I have the other half of that magnet clipped onto the back uh, or the very bottom of this back panel on my pack. So uh, when I need to use it, I'm fighting a fish in my right hand, pop that off the magnet, and then it's on the zinger with a really long range. I can net my fish and then come right back up and I'm clipped on. It's pretty accessible. You don't have to be a, a gymnast to be able to reach back here and grab it. Um, you can just bring your arm back, you're on the handle, pop it off, and you're good to go. So that works best for me. Uh, there's more than one way to run this, but I find it very comfortable. It doesn't really hang up on branches for me, and uh, it's easy to get around with and, and net some fish with.